two old clouds submerged, that's a roll up. True that. In the K locked and no sight when the nest came. Uh-huh. Watching niggas spray for seven words when the nest say did what we had to do. Full for the sensei. Uh-huh. Full body control, did whatever the sensei. Now our numbers together shot up like the campaign. Link up with the pops, the dawn, very young. Uh-huh. Yeah, heal it back at the olive tree. Yeah. Two branches of chain like former parolees. Be shy with the word cracking the concrete. Unity means an increase, that's how it should be. That's right, yeah. Blood thick in the water combined. Uh-huh. We could build, call the Lord to heat up the board. It's Joshua uh-huh. 6 United, it's an all out slaughter. Sons of Judah and Eve for more the size of the water. Uh-huh. Watching the NBA Finals, all that's going on tonight. But but listen, listen what the Most High say. Proverbs eight and one. The Book of Proverbs chapter eight and verse one. Uh huh. Who is not wisdom cry and understanding cry for her voice? Bible say, does not wisdom cry and understanding for her voice? Read. She standeth in the top of high places. She standeth in the top of high places. Wisdom. Read. By the way in the places of the paths. Uh huh. She crieth at the gates. You see that? By the way in the places of the paths. We're in the places of the past. And it says she crieth in the gates, meaning in the streets. That's where you're going to hear wisdom at. In the chief places of concourse, where everybody is gathering. Read. At the entry of the city. Uh-huh. At the coming at the door. Unto you, O oh men, I call. Read that again. Unto you, O oh men, I call. You hear what the Bible say? Unto you, O oh men, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Your both sides calling you right now, brother. That's right. That's right. Read. And my voice is to the sons of men. God's voice is this Bible, and he's speaking to the men, the Israelite men, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yeah. It's time for us to wake up. Right. You know what? Give me Romans 13 and 11. Yeah. It it's time to wake up. What you what you receiving right now is the alarm clock. Because guess what? We don't have a lot of time to waste. That's right. World War Three is on the way. It's imminent. It's going to happen. It's not. It's. There's no way they can stop it. You know they made them bombs to make them blow up, right? Right. They gonna blow up. Yeah. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. Read. And that, knowing the time, uh-huh. that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. The Bible telling us it's time to wake up. Read it again. And that, knowing the time, uh-huh. that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It is time to awake out of sleep. But you know the state of our people right now, they think they won't, but they really not. Give me Proverbs 21 and 16. Yeah. I'm going to show you the state of black folks. All our people that's out here right now at the grocery store, at the car wash, at McDonald's, at the cash point getting some money. I'm going to show you the state of mind that they're in right now. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21 and verse 16. Uh huh. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. So when you wonder, when we wonder out of the understanding of the way of understanding, meaning the understanding of the Bible, read. Shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Shall do what? Remain in the congregation of the dead. So when you don't know who you are, when you don't know what tribe you come from in the Bible, when you don't know your customs, your holidays, the way you're supposed to treat your wife, the way you're supposed to raise your children, you're going to be where? In the congregation of the dead. Our people in a dead state. Yeah, they look glamorous, they look beautiful right now, but they sleep spiritually. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Give me Matthew 24 and start at verse 37. I'm going to show you what Christ said. Bring it out. 
Read the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 37. Uh huh. But as the days of Noah were, see, as the days of Noah was, you remember the story of Noah, right? They was, they was, they, Noah was out here preaching, telling the people it was going to rain. And it rained, right? Listen to this, read. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Read on. For as in the days there were before the flood, uh -huh. they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving into marriage. Hey, people were living their lives, not taking heed to the warning that, more, that Noah was giving them. They was going to the club, like we doing today, going to the club. We drinking, we smoking, we, we doing whatever. Right? Read, it from the, read that part again from the top. Verse 38. Uh -huh. For as the days that were before the flood, uh -huh. they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. Read on. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Read. And knew not until the flood came. Read. And took them all away. See that? Everybody having a good time right now not knowing it's a war on the brink. Bring it out. Bring That's it why out. we out here tonight. That's right. Because we trying to wake up that one, maybe two or three souls to save you from the fire, yes, right? The most high put the spirit on you to come over here under this tent so you can get the wake up call, my brother. Because you ever been burnt before by an iron or something that don't feel good, right? Think about a nuclear fallout, huh? Because when the, before the bombs hit, I forget what they call them, but before they hit, they're going to drop something where Cyrus. all huh? Cyrus. The, the Cyrus. They're going to hit and everything going to go pitch black dark. Picture that. You just standing here and the lights, everything that's going dark, your phone stop working, your car won't crank. EMP. Think about that. EMP. The EMPs, that's what they call it. That's what's going to happen. And then when the bomb hit, the bomb, they got missiles that if they land, they can destroy the whole state of Texas. That's right. So you imagine, you sitting here in Sanford and the bomb hit two counties over. You driving in your car, and next thing you know, you just feel a wave come. And then your skin start to deteriorate off your body. Be like, what just happened? World War Three is here. Right. That's right. Because the first time when Noah was preaching, they just sat there and they seen the rain coming for 40 days and 40 nights. Till Noah, then they said, till Noah entered into the ark, everybody drowned and flooded. Think about drowning. That's a slow death. That's right. You're trying to swim out, but you can't. Think about that. Every, everybody trying to swim to shore, but there's no shore to swim to. Right. Because the whole entire land is flooded with water. This time, everybody going to be looking for a glass of water, right. but there ain't going to be no water to get. That's right. Because you're going to be burning. That's right. That's why it's important for you to be on here right now, brother. Because that ne that ne the next time destruction comes, it's going to be hot nuclear fire. Right. And our people don't know these things. They, they caught up, give me James 4 and 4. They caught up in this world. America has nothing to offer. They have nothing to offer. Our kids can't even go, go to school now. They got transvest, transvestites, you know what I mean, drag queens coming inside the schools and reading the little kids' stories. I heard, I heard, I heard today that they had a man Matter of fact, on one of our videos with the brothers in D.C., they got a man coming in to the school. I think he was dressed like a monkey with his butt out and had a dildo on reading to the kids. I just heard this today. You see, we living in the last days, brother. That's why we ain't got time to play around here. Read that. The book of James, chapter 4 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world uh -huh. is enmity with God? Our people don't understand that friendship with this world right here, you is enmity with God, meaning hatred against God. We are not supposed to, we're not supposed to love this world. Right. That's right. Because the, when you come into the truth, the world will hate you. So we have to totally separate ourselves from this world. Give me Revelations 18 and 4. You gotta totally detach yourself from here because this place is is on a time clock for it to be destroyed. And if you in the midst of sin and you carrying along in Babylon the Great, guess what? You gonna get burned in that fire. See, your pastor ain't telling you this, Grandma, huh? Well, if you ever did, he ain't never told you this. You see what I'm saying? Read that. The Book of Revelations, chapter 18 and verse 4. Uh huh. And I heard another voice in heaven saying. 
come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sin. You hear what the Bible say? The herd that is feeding from the top again. And I heard another voice from heaven say, uh -huh. come out of her, my people. That's what we are here doing tonight. Come out of America, my people. That's right. You won't read the term America in the Bible. America is known as Babylon. Right. The daughter of Babylon. The Bible is telling us to come out of her. Forget about this place, man. Repent and become righteous. Know that you're an Israelite and you got to keep the commandments. That's right. Read it from the top again. And I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, uh -huh. that ye be not partakers of her sins. It said, Don't be partakers of her sins. The white man has taught us to do everything contrary to this Bible. That's right. The most I say, remember the Sabbath day to keep the holy, which is about to, is about to come now, right? From Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. You know what the white man said? Nah, the day of worship is Sunday. You understand what I'm saying? The Bible say marriage is honorable, right, between a man and a woman. But now the white man said two women can get married, two men can get married, you can marry a little boy, you can marry your dog. All these things is going on in this land right now. Now, yeah. read it from the top again. The book of Revelations, chapter 18 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, read. Come out of her, my people, uh -huh. and that you be not partakers of her sin, read. and that you receive not of her plague. So it said, come out of her and don't partake in her sins, so you will receive her plagues. That's why we got to get out, we got to get our mind out of this place. This place is doomed. Yes, right. Jump down to verse 10. Verse 10, saying afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, alas, alas, uh -huh. that great city, that, Babylon, that great city is America. The United States of America, what, that's, what, we, what he reading right there, that great city is this place. Now they can go to anybody land and tell them how they want them to run their government. And if they don't do it, guess what they do? They go and assassinate whoever's in charge. They go and steal all the resources. This is the great city. They got embassies in every land. They got naval warships in all the waters. Read it from the top again. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment. Uh -huh. Saying, alas, alas, that great city Babylon. That great city Babylon, a.k.a. the United States of America. Read that mighty city. This is a mighty city. So what country can really defeat this place? Not now one. The only, the, only, the only people that's going to defeat the United States of America is Jesus Christ and the Israelites. That's right. right. When the angels come, it's war time, brother. Right. The only person that's going to defeat this place right here is Jesus Christ, the black messiah. None of these nations can, can, can hold a counter to this place. And the United States of America know it. Read. For in one hour is thy judgment come. Uh -huh. In what hour? In one hour, thy judgment come. You see that? It's going to be one hour. It's going to take one hour to destroy this place. That's it on that? Yes, sir. Go jump up to verse 1. Let me show you something. This place is doomed, man. Read the book of Revelation, chapter 18, and verse 1. Uh-huh. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven. Read on. Having great power. Uh-huh. And the earth was lighted with his glory. Read on. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, read, saying, Read, read. Babylon the great is fallen. Babylon the great is fallen. This place is about to fall. Read. It's fallen. And it's become the habitation of devil. And the hold of every foul beast. Every okay. foul beast, right? All the unclean animals is going to be inhabited this land when the nuclear destruction is over. They're going to come here. All the, the owls and the birds. They're going to be coming here. Read. And all the hold of every foul spirit. Uh-huh. And the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. That's your vultures, your crows. Read. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So all nations have been in cahoots with the United States of America. Right. Bring it up. All nations. Read. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. So the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Right. Been, been, been in agreement with her policies. With her religion, right? Read. And the merchants of the earth are wax rich. And, and the merchants of the earth, because the Bible is talking about big trade business. Everybody's got their hand in the pot with America, right? The merchants of the earth are what? Wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Read on. I heard another voice from heaven saying, 
come out of her, my people. So that's why the Bible telling us we don't need to be partaking in none of that. In America's politics, in America's religion. Because our people that's a part of that stuff, they're going to die. That's right. That's why you as a black man, you got to come back to the true understanding of this. But I'm showing you this to show you we don't have time to play around. Right. That's the point. That's the point why I'm bringing this out. You thinking, oh, well, when I leave here tonight, I'm going to wake up in the morning and everything going to be Gucci. No, no. Don't never think like that. Because once you standing here right now, you mark. Your time clock has started. Most I want you to get right so you won't feel the missiles. That's right. right. People got to understand, it's about to go down. Look at it. We've been, we been around here for two years wearing masks. Can't even come together. They try to push this vaccine down your throat. You be living in the last days. It's, 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 it's a parody. You know what I mean? So we got to get right, brother. Give me Acts 319. Let me show you something. Hey, Jezreel, you can give me a come on in. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Uh -huh. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So you got to repent. What's your name, brother? Timothy. Hey, you got, you got, a, you got a, a biblical name. Yeah, Timothy Dane, two biblical names. You got to get it right. Read that again. Repent, therefore, and be converted. The Bible said you got to repent and be converted. I mean, you got to change. You already got your beard. You already looking righteous right there. Now you got to get your fringes. Now you got to call the number and come to the school so you can learn from men. Right. So you could be on this. You live, you live here in Sanford? See, we just had a brother here a while ago. He thinking he the only one here. He might not be the only one here. It yeah. might be you and him. That's right. Both of y'all call the number. Come in. Get built up. Y'all can build this city up. That's right. Cause we ain't got long, man. Christ said the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Right. Pray for more laborers. There's not a soul here in Sample outside of us coming here, and we don't come here every day to keep to try to heal this this city right here. Read it again from the top. Repent therefore and be converted, uh -huh. that your sins may be blotted out. So you want to repent, so your sins may be blotted out. Read that the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. For that destruction come. You want to make sure your soul get right. You got to make, that's why we out here. Give me Jeremiah 28 and 8. The book of Jeremiah, chapter. Jeremiah? Oh, Jeremiah 28. Is it Jeremiah 28 and 8? Uh, probably before Jeremiah we. Jeremiah 28. Yeah, chapter oh, 8. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. Uh -huh. The prophets that have been before me and before these of all prophesied, uh -huh. both against many countries. Now, the one I just bringing it out, the prophets prophesied against many countries. When I was going through Revelations 18, prophets, I was, we was prophesying against America. We following the, the blueprint of our forefathers. Read it from the top again. The prophets that have been before me uh -huh. and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries. We prophesy against many countries. Read. And against great kingdoms. We prophesy against great kingdoms. We prophesy against America, China, Russia. We prophesy against those, those nations because those nations are going to be destroyed That's by right. Christ and the angels. That's, That's, right. Right. That's what our people got to understand. America is doomed. Right. Right. We of war. And of evil. See that? The prophets prophesy of war and of evil. Read. And of pestilence. And of pestilence. We, hey, hey, we were out here telling people, hey, the COVID-19 is here. The Bible told you it was going to be pestilence. Christ told us it was going to be pestilence. Read. The prophet which prophesy of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass. And these are your Christian pastors now. They are here telling people everything is going to be all right. Just believe in white man Jesus. Read it again. The prophet which prophesieth of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, uh -huh. then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. Right. So, well, that part, read that part again. Verse 9. The prophet which prophesieth of peace, uh -huh. when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, when it come to pass, read, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. Right. When the, when the prophecy come to pass, then you would know the Lord truly sent him. So guess what? These prophecies is going to come to pass in this Bible. This, the, the World War III is coming. So us as the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, it's imperative that we get our souls right. That's right. It's very, very important that we get our minds right, Brother Timothy Daniel. That you get your fringes. You see what we got on right here? 
You got to go to Hobby Lobby right up the street. Get your fringes in the border of blue. You got to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. You eat pork. Good. You know what I mean? Well, now you got to call the number. Come to the school and congregate so you can learn how to be a righteous man. You got a girlfriend? You got a wife? All oh, praises to the most high. You see what I'm saying? So, huh? Yeah, all praises. So listen, brother. You got to, hey, come on. We need you. We need you on this side of the signs right. to help build our nation back up. That's, That's right. right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.